Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I am going to set up SSH key authentication uh, for our Ubuntu machine so that I can work with the Azure uh, DevOps. Okay, so a few things that we need to do and you can read about how the SSH key authentication works. SSH key authentication works with the asymmetric pair of generated encrypt encryption keys. Okay, the public key is shared with Azure DevOps and is used to identify is to verify the initial SSH connection. The private key is kept safe and secure on your system. So what we need to do, uh, the following steps cover the configuration for uh, either Windows, uh, Mac OX or running uh, at least uh, the Leper 10.5 uh, and Windows operating system. So the configuring uh, SSH using the command line BAS is a common cell in Windows, uh, in I'm sorry Linux and Mac OX and the Git for Windows installation adds a shortcut to Git Bash. So first you need to create a SSH key and the common place where you create your, your SSH key they will be placed under slash backslash dot SSH folder okay so since I'm on a Ubuntu system let's just do uh, clear let's just uh, actually you know what just open a new window and just uh, use that one and do a ls uh, cd maybe home let's come back over here I just wanna be in the here and uh, ls uh, that h I'm just looking for SSH dot SSH folder is right there. So if you get inside dot SSH folder dot SSH, can you do that? Okay. So if you do ls so ls dot lih, there is nothing there. So nothing is uh, no keys are present in that particular folder at the moment. So we're going to use a command that's going to create the SSH keys and they will place under that particular folder. Okay, so the command that we're gonna run, uh, I just remember if the file exists, then you have already created this SSH fee, but we, we just saw that there is we have not created any. So you typically you're gonna use the SSH key gen key generator to create this SSH fee and it will create a 3072 bit of RSA key uh, for use with the SSH. So let's just run this command, uh, just remember to change your. Uh, username okay so let's come back to over here it's fine let's just call clear to clear up things uh, paste and I'm gonna change and use my email okay and into the file in which to save and I'm just gonna hit enter I'm not gonna change anything into press phrase I'm not gonna change anything let's just go back over here if they're doing anything they're not doing anything they're not doing anything so hit enter into the passwords enter and that's about it so we got a SSH key so now if we do LH minus LH you see the RSA and RSA pub uh, the pub is the public key uh, that's got created so we're done with this part so the command produces two keys as we saw and if you're a Linux user you probably know all about it but just uh, bear with me. Now the next thing we need to do add the public key to the Azure DevOps services or a team foundation. So typically you would use your SSH key to log into even other system. So you would put your key to the other system but in this case we're just gonna go to the Azure DevOps. So let's see I have Azure DevOps in here and let's see where do we want to go we want associate the public key in the previous step with your user id so we're going to click on the user id okay so in my user id and the ssh public key so here we have to do something okay and uh, select this is public key that's what i did and then we're going to add a new key so over here click on the new key and we need to name the new key let's see uh, copy the content of the public key that you generated into the public key data field 
and uh, name it says a laptop key so let's just come over here and call it uh, uh, Ubuntu key Ubuntu key and I need the I need the public key the public key is uh, meant to be shared with uh, everybody so just do a less on the id rsa dot pub open it up and uh, i'm just gonna copy all of it and copy and just put it in here and make sure everything looks good to me yeah i think everything looks good uh, let's come over here and uh, give the key a default description the description will be displayed on the ssh public keys page for your profile okay and then let's see if i have any description that i need to give it to there is no description just say add and uh, there we go so we we added this key and now uh, clone the git repository with ssh uh, to clone the ssh from existing clone reports see operating remote uh, so this is we don't we don't need to do that copy the ssh clone url from your web portal in the in the example this is a clone url is for a repo so they're doing something so uh, setup release and then uh, you can run the git clone and if you're running the git clone uh, you are going to use the ssh version of the git clone to be able to do that so let's just try something so i have already a project so let's come back over here and version controlling with the git with azure reports so i can get this one and in this one let's see private uh, i need to clone this repos go to repos uh, clone and uh, we're gonna go to SSH and uh, copy everything and let's see what do we get so I'm gonna go Q and I'm gonna get out of this particular folder LS uh, CD documents uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clone it outside I have a git that I want to use later so let's just uh, create even a folder test test kit get inside the test kit and then let's see what command so it's a git at sshdevazure.com and everything uh, that this command has uh, let me let me copy and you gotta add the git clone at the front so let's just come back over here come to the front and just uh, put git clone oh, oh, space uh, put a space and uh, uh, then uh, I'm gonna hit enter and it just says hey the authenticity can be established to you trust I'm just gonna say yes and hit enter and uh, there we go now look at that the magic is happening and uh, it's receiving the clone so now if I do a ls on it I see a folder if I see get inside the folder parts unlimited ls I see I have everything if I do a git status git status and it says it's downloaded the branch master there is nothing everything is up to date uh, with the origin master nothing to commit uh, works working tree is completely clean so this is how you would use uh, the SSH method to authenticate to Git and uh, download everything. Now another thing I wanted to quickly mention at this time if you really want you can also use uh, your Visual Studio Code to do that. All you need to do is come over here, go to view then command palette or control set P and then you would click on git clone and then you provide the repository uh, and then just hit enter and it should download everything so i'm going to give you the link to this particular page okay this is really useful really good uh, just having a working session makes it much a little bit more easier so hopefully uh, you enjoy the video uh, if you like it give me a thumbs up sign up for more videos and leave your wonderful comments thanks for watching have a great day